Now into stock we have an Audi A1 1.6 TDI Sport. It's a three door 2014 on a 14. Um, 48,500 miles. The fuel economy is urban 64.2, extra urban 83.1 and combined is 74.3. Very, very economical car. Top speed of 118 miles per hour out of a 104 brake horsepower engine. Um, not only is it economical fuel wise, it's zero road tax as well. Uh, the MOT expires the 6th of March 2019. It's finished in black and it has um, dark grey cloth with uh, a lighter grey pattern centre panel uh, for the upholstery. It's got 10 spoke alloy wheels, tinted glass. Reasonable um, boot space. I've got uh, three camera cases in there at the moment and they're all about uh, so big. Back seats fold down, they're split independently in a 60-40 configuration. Um, rear load cover here. So, room in the back. Now, I've had to put my seat forward to where I can drive uh, in reasonable amount of comfort. Again, you've got to put the rear headrest up to make any space, but these, I wouldn't like to be in the back with three people, but three kids will fit in. And uh, it's, uh, it's reasonably comfortable. My, my head's just touching the back there, so, um, but uh, certainly three children, two adults, as long as you're not going too far. Turn the aircon down. And, uh, put this in the back seat. It's got a normal remote key fob with a key blade that uh, slots in the ignition. And um, the car's nice. However, this is the digital service history. And as you can see there, the wallet is empty. Now we've tried to tra trace the digital service history, it's not been done at Audi. We've no reason to suspect that it hasn't been done and hasn't been serviced. However, um, there's, at the moment there's no way that we can prove it has been done either. So we have priced it accordingly. Uh, it's at least £500 I would say cheaper than, uh, than, it, than it should be. So if you could, uh, if you could bear that in mind. Um, to make up for it, we will service it and give it a good service, a good check over before it goes out. Make sure it's running okay and, it, uh, and everything's uh, sorted. Um, it's, it is showing on the service history that's been recorded on here that it has been done. But as I say, it was done before the previous owner got it. There's no history in the car. It was sold by uh, a very large dealer. So... Hopefully they do, they're as diligent as we are and, and do the checks. Um, and the previous owner has just bought a bigger car off us. They needed a bigger car. So I'll take you for a ride now. First of all, we've got uh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel. Now th these cars are very economical and uh, I've done a fair few miles in, in one of these myself including uh, two of us touring around Scotland so uh, there's uh, plenty of room in them enough room for two two cases and uh, they're very very comfortable just try and get I mean, so that, try and get comfy myself so finished in black and it's got this it's quite hard to describe really 
there's a a light a lighter gray patterned center panel and then there's a piece here which feels like not exactly vinyl but material like it and then this cloth along the outside they they are well padded they're well supported they're built up around the side and around the bottom the sports seats very very comfortable um, as I say we we did um, a couple of thousand miles in, in one and uh, have been to various places since in the car so multifunction steering wheel is uh, unfortunately they're going across here I think no they're not they just uh, they just look like they're going across there so the noise you could hear is the locking wheel nut key sliding around in the glove box it's got air conditioning the air conditioning is, is working it's nice and icy at the moment. You've got the display, you've got stupid on off, which uh, knock off straight away. It's got Bluetooth hands free. This one's also got Bluetooth audio streaming. You've got uh, media here. You've got the car switch there, menu, and there you can go around, change the tone, go onto radio, media, info. back there you go on onto telephone got a global locking switch here and you've got uh, it's only a three door you've got your two electric windows to the front this uh, the a1 with the diesel engine um, feels a lot bigger a lot more substantial than the, the petrol version believe it or not I'm assuming it's due to the, the weight of the diesel engine and uh, it's it feels very planted very solid at the front a little bit of tire noise nothing too intrusive a really nice gearbox positive steering so I've got plenty of headroom here and uh, with nobody in the back, I've got plenty of legroom too. If I was buying a little car, and uh, my advice to family members is uh, an A1, the, the really good cars. Nice and smooth, no uh, bumps or vibrations. We'll just check when we're coming to the roundabout. Any wobbles through the steering wheel when we're braking from a reasonable speed. I do think it needs two tyres on the back. Um, it's probably a, the, the noise from the back is uh, louder than it would normally be. Should certainly do the job and the wipers are cleaning the screen. Let's try and get a bit of water on that back. Yeah. Yeah, I think that needs a wiper blade. Got 
the rev counter on the left there, information panel in the center, and then on the right your speedo, in the speedo is your fuel gauge, and in your rev counter is your coolant temperature gauge. There we go, from this little switch here, we can change the display in the middle, the information, miles to the gallon, how far to, uh, till you need to fill up. Average miles an hour. how far you've gone in distance. Now that, that cannot be loaded right, can it? Look at the crap coming out the back as well. Yeah, guy's on his phone as well. I mean, he, he couldn't make, he couldn't break any more laws if he tried. He's uh, using a phone, badly loaded, and emissions. I don't know. Preston seems to be the uh, centre for poor driving excellence. <laughs> and not indicating. No, I, uh, I don't suppose he needs to indicate in that. So zero road tax. And uh, what was the fuel economy? Up, up to 80, was it? Um, and I, I do know they are very economical. I really don't think you'd get 80 miles to the gallon, but I would imagine 60. And uh, out of a, a fairly substantial little car. CD radio, and as I say, it's got Bluetooth audio streaming. So, any music from your phone. Once it's paired, and I'll show you how to do that when we get back. Once it's paired, you click the media button, and you see there it's showing my. It's shot. Look me in the face. I thought he was having a heart attack. His mouth was. My phone with a, an, an, another Jack Reacher audio book. Which I could do with pausing, really. Oh, I'll switch that off. So, there we go, 70 miles an hour. It's a five speed box in the diesel, 2000 revs, and. Uh, Feels like it would certainly uh, bob on if you needed it to. Let's see what else we got. There, directory, your phone, tells you in service due, and then just your information. So that's control from this one here. Everybody swapping lanes. There you go, you can, the, the button here, it's got a nav button, but there's no, no nav in this car. So that below there, the kind of asterisk sign, if you press that, it changes the source, changes between sources, radio, and in this case, my iPhone, and then you can uh, turn the volume up there. 
there, that brings up your directory, that button. You can scroll down, your dial calls, missed calls, received. temperature gauge there and the gear you're in so we're in fifth and it's 23.5 degrees centigrade outside it is fairly warm so the air conditioning is doing a, a great job okay, you can also uh, put that away and uh, it'll come up when you put the ignition on It certainly doesn't feel like a small car on the motorway. You, you, you're not intimidated by other traffic. something sliding about but I don't know where it is under there you've got an aux in I'm not sure I can't see whether there's USB yeah just feels like all aux in Holders here, just forward of the gear stick. A proper handbrake as well. That uh, door pocket. Door pockets are also designed to hold bottles and will take quite a big bottle. there in the display you've got source and settings functions they correspond to the buttons around this rotary selector so the bottom left hand corner functions click that there you go pause so we'll do that you've got settings settings just say bottom right or bottom left bottom left before, bottom right, Bluetooth settings, select, discoverability, Bluetooth audio player on, and bonded Bluetooth devices. That's also how you delete as well, which I'll show you when we get back to the garage.
nice steering wheel, nice feel to it, finished in leather, three spoke. Well finished off the cars are. Nice gear change. Got a power socket there as well, at the front. Ooh, wasn't sure he was going to stop. Actually, now I've seen who it is, I'm sure he was going to stop. I think he's from one of the good garages in Preston. You see there are the reflection in that van in front, we've got driving lights. throws his fag out the window. Heated rear screens down here along with the switch to knock your ABS off. A nice piano black vent surrounds. All the materials in here feel all nice, don't feel like cheap plastic. They feel like expensive plastic. Really nice car to drive. The, uh, I'm in fifth now and I haven't got my foot on the accelerator. The car is doing a thousand revs and we and I'm having I'm actually having to brake to slow it down. 
So at tick over, at tick over in fifth, it will do over 30 miles an hour. So uh, that's kind of why it's so economical. Right, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile um, from, uh, from Saturday. Turn that down from any screen into telephone. Now that's that's gone into Bluetooth straight away. Uh, let me see if there's any. Yeah, we'll we'll right. Okay, we'll we'll go back. We'll go back. So hopefully, it'd be a, a little more explanatory. From any screen, telephone button. You've got settings down in the bottom right hand corner. That corresponds to this button here. Each of those four buttons corresponds to each corner of the display. So bottom right hand corner, settings, telephone settings, call options, mailbox number, Bluetooth, select Bluetooth, discoverability, Bluetooth audio player, find Bluetooth devices, bonded Bluetooth devices. That's what we want, click bonded. You see there, Barry's iPhone. Now what I'll have to do, which I should have done before, is delete it from my phone or knock my Bluetooth off. So I'll delete it, forget this device, forget. Otherwise I won't be able to delete it. It'll just look for it. So Barry's iPhone 10. Click on there and it gives delete device, connect to hands free or connect the audio player. So we just want delete device there. It's automatically on it. There you go. Do you really want to delete this device? Existing Bluetooth connections will be closed. Delete. The device has been deleted. OK, I'll just show you how to pair your mobile to the Bluetooth audio uh, system in this Audi A1. First of all, we make sure Bluetooth is on. So into Bluetooth, Bluetooth on, that's on there. And then from any screen, so it's already picked up Audi MM4223, but from any screen into telephone, and then it's showing search for new mobile. If for any reason it's not on that screen, um, I'll just, uh, just take it down there and into something else, Bluetooth. So if for any reason it's not on that screen I've just shown you, and it comes up on another, just click back until you've got search for new mobile phone. We click on that. Please check the Bluetooth is activated while it is. Continue. It's looking for a, the Bluetooth phone. It's taking its time. It's there, it's brought up Barry's iPhone 10. Click on that, hands free, the connection's been established. It, there you go. Does this pin match the pin on your Bluetooth device? 789550. Well, yes, it does. So we click pair there and we click yes on the screen. I don't want it to allow my contacts and favourites to sync because I won't be using the car again, but you will. So you put allow and I've, I've just disallowed it. Connection's been established. That's it it's done. This car will also stream audio, it's, it's got the option. Now, if you go into music, you see this red triangle here with three red circles, if you click on that, it's not actually showing the Audi. So, if we go into menu, telephone, and then settings in the right hand corner, click settings, down to Bluetooth, it's got discoverability, Bluetooth audio player, audio player on, find Bluetooth devices, bonded Bluetooth devices, Bluetooth name, so bonded Bluetooth devices, Barry's iPhone, click on that, and you see there, audio player is not connected, so down to audio player, it's Connected is hands-free, but not audio player. So just click connect, and we'll see here if it comes up. There you go, it's come up. 
and there's a tick by it. So we'll turn that up, go back, click play, and then we have to go to media. And there you go, it's playing now. So that, that this wasn't set up normally, it would just play automatically, but because I've been messing about with it, I'd knock the audio player off. So that's how you do it. If, if yours is the same, that's how you do it.